Hello, and welcome to Code 5 Minutes with Zim. I'm Dr. Abstract, and in this Code in 5 Minutes, we're going to make a book. <laughs> oh, can we possibly do it? So let's go to the Zim site now at zimjs.com, and we are going to start the timer right away. Woohoo! Okay, so we're going to go to the code page here and grab the template. Copy the template. We'll drop down our Zim a little bit and paste this into Adam. And we'll save that up. And let's change it to darker. This is our background. We're going to bring in a book and we're going to bring in assets for the book, assets plural, and a path for that, those assets. And down in here, may as well get rid of all this stuff. This is the template. We will say a new book. Okay, so that's where we're going to put our book. We'll want to find out, let's see, a width and a height and the pages to add to the book. So to get the pages, let's go back to that Zim site. There's a special way that you can go grab, oh, it was in the code section. So go to the code section, scroll on down, and it's called the asset list right here. And if we browse, We'll want to browse the folder, not this pottery. No, 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 but up in five. And then covers. So here they are. What you do is you select them all and you open them. And what this does is it gives us the, the variables that we need, or the information that we need in here to load all of those images. So our path is covers. And then there they all are. Great. And that'll load into the assets and the path. Super duper. Remember, it's assets and then path, though. Sometimes the path is optional. So in the book, we want to find out a width and a height. So what we'll do is we'll say const pick is equal to, we'll, we'll base it on the first asset there, asset, and then it will be build.jpg. So that's how you would normally grab an asset. You could dot center it on the stage. We don't even have to center it. All we have to do is reference it here so that we can say pick dot width and we'll have we'll have a left side and a right side so that's times two and then pick dot height uh, and then we pass in you can pass in any zim display object which means these pages can be fully interactive with stuff that sliders and dials and stuff going on animations video all that kind of stuff right in the page but right now we're going to make it just from this assets list. So if we pass in uh, strings, then it will assume you mean the assets and it will load those assets. We'll then dot center the book on the stage and we will pause the timer. <laughs> Can you believe it? Two minutes and 39 seconds. Well, we haven't seen it. So what do we have? Hopefully it'll be a surprise and not a bad surprise. So we're going to open that up in a browser here. And there's a book with a little corner that comes up. Look at that. Woohoo! Oh, neat. We have a book of Philip K. Dick stuff. <laughs> Great. Isn't that nice? And once again, these things can be fully interactive. But there's our book. Woohoo! This is code in five minutes. Do you want to see? We did a bubbling video on the book as well. So you can uh, go take a look there at the videos in YouTube, but I'll go to the Zim site where you can find the book that we made in Zimcat. Any new features in Zimcat come from here. And we can scroll here and here's the Dr. Abstract book. Other new things uh, in, are included in this part, but uh, right now we're taking a look at the book. By the way, that's Zim Pages, uh, loading a page each time, but this is <laughs> now the book. And here's a video of Pragma calling Dr. Abstract. So these are Dr. Abstract's callings. And we can uh, go from page to page here. Isn't that great? And like I said, this is interactive. So that little button right there in the corner, that's interactive. So if I click that, it actually loads yet another book. But uh, we were having to look through Dr. Abstract's book. So there's a bubbling video on how we did this. And if we want, I can use the arrow keys as well. So I'm using arrows now to page through the book. And there's the last page. And I'll hit the start. And so we can programmatically also um, scroll through the pages or turn the pages in 
our book. And this has been a What's Bubbling with Zim and I Am, Dr. Abstract. Oh no, it's a code in five minutes with Zim. That's right, the last one was a bubbling. So uh, we'd love it if you come into Zim, check things out, zimjs.com. Join us on Slack, zimjs.com slash Slack. We'll see you later. Have a great day or night.